What's up YouTube? This your man, Big B Production 100. I have a great tip for you guys today. In this video, I'm about to show you guys how you can check to see when the last date you previously updated your applications. Now, in OS 10, when you normally go to the app store and you download an app, I'm going to show you guys, which you probably already noticed, but I'm just going to show you anyway. Normally, when you download an application from the Mac app store, you would get like these cool little sparkles around your applications indicating that that application is new and it's updated and you just installed it on your Mac like so. But once you open that app and you have had it for quite some time, when you go back, you'll see that it's not giving you no indication whatsoever that if that app was previously updated or when it was updated or when it's due for a new update. So I'm going to show you guys how you can check on your own manually to see when the last time an application was updated and when it may be time to do a new update and you can check on your own. So first off, what you want to do is, and this is also cool for third party applications and everything like that. You can just open up your finder like so. Once you have your finder open, you should be inside your applications folder. Now, what you want to do is first, you just want to change your view to column view just by clicking on the second box. Let me slide this over. Once you have done that, you can come up to where it says view. Now just show, or should I say, arrange by name. Mine is already arranged by name. So now that we have that set and done, if you look here, you'll see date modified and name. Under name, you have the name of the application. Date modified is the last time that application was updated. Now you'll see here that my Adobe Creative Cloud was updated yesterday. Now, this is really cool because it gives you the information on when the last time that application was updated. My calendar that was updated February 2nd, 2014 at 5.52 p.m. The reason why I have a lot of applications that's updated, such as my mail and my maps and everything and my messages, you're probably wondering, like, wow, I didn't have an update for that yet. That's because I've just recently updated my OS X Mavericks to 10.9.2. Now, that official update is not currently out yet to the public, but it's only out for developers for right now. So now let's just come down and look at some more stuff. So if it was an application that you downloaded and let's just say if it was a third party app and it wasn't from the Mac app store, such as Photomatics Pro 5, because I'm a photographer and I like to edit, what you can do is you can just basically open up that application and just check and see if it's time for an update or even see if you have that application set to check for updates on its own. And with some applications that you download that's third party, it doesn't give you that option. So I would just advise you to just go to that website and just go through your applications and just check them manually to see, okay, well, I downloaded this application here. Let's just say if it was a, okay, better zip. I downloaded this, but it wasn't from the Mac app store. Let me go to betterzip.com or whatever the website it is to check to see if it's time for a new update. If they don't allow you to do automatic updates through the application itself. So I just wanted to share this video with you guys to show you how you can just better check and, you know, stay organized and just, you know, make sure that all the applications are up to date because you don't want to have applications on your Mac that you didn't have for like six, seven months. And you probably had three or four updates and you don't even know it because of the simple fact that company don't allow you to do automatic updates. So this is a great way that you can just go and check on your own. So this is your man, Big B Production 100. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you guys did enjoy this video. I'll let you.